The initial call uh, came across uh, VHF Channel 16 as a, uh, the vessel Bronze Monkey was on fire in their engine room uh, with 11 people on board. Uh, the comm center, our communication watch room, picked it up, uh, began to get a secondary contact, a cell phone number, so that we could, in the event we lost comms, which we did, you know, moments later, uh, so that we could have a contact with the vessel that was on fire. The initial report that we received about the case was, um, it was a, I believe, a 50-foot uh, Hinkley um, that was on fire uh, three miles south of Witchmere, 11 people on board. And um, at first they weren't sure of their position, um, just a geographical position is what they gave us. So. We were we we're out the door immediately. As soon as I woke up, as soon as my eyes were open, uh, I had my life jacket right there and we ran down the stairs and we were, got the boat underway immediately. Uh, it took us about six minutes to get the boat launched uh, and then we were on scene within about 15 minutes of that. We arrived on scene merely 10 minutes later from uh, underway time frame uh, once we got on scene. Actually prior to us getting on scene we could smell the smoke uh, as you know it was dark we could actually see the smoke or smell the smoke. Um, and right before we got on scene um, we began to set up the deck to receive all the people that was on board, 11 people on board. Uh, the coxswain went around the boat, went around the stern of the boat, uh, came alongside his port side, and we transferred all 11 people onto the bow of our boat. And the challenges we, uh, we faced about the burning vessel was um, getting everyone off the boat safely. Um, it was a larger vessel than our, our 27 foot um, boat, and everyone was on the bow. They couldn't make their way to the stern, which would have made it for an easy transfer. Um, so just stepping them down from their, their bow to our boat uh, made it challenging uh, for all the individuals. Uh, we were using uh, considerable speed to get there, but with the experience and uh, knowledge of the people on board, we were navigating the channel safely and um, were able to get there just in time before the flames appeared to get out of control. At a matter of 10 minutes from us getting back on scene, the vessel began to sink and uh, totally went underwater and was totally submerged. Uh, once that was complete, uh, we pretty much grabbed, uh, we were looking for any type of uh, life-saving equipment like an EPIRB or something that maybe we get another phone call about. Uh, everything pretty much was lost in the fire. Uh, so from that point, we, are, we returned to, to the station. Saving lives, uh, as in this case, uh, it just reinforces why I joined the Coast Guard. Uh, makes me want to come to work every day. You know, I'm not sure when I show up what I'll be faced with that day. And it just, um, and uh, after being involved in a case like that, it just gives you a sense of pride of, of being in the Coast Guard. Saving lives uh, has always been a positive part of the job. Um, it makes this job easy. Uh, there's, no, there's no gray area when you're out there assisting the public. Uh, it, it is exactly a case such as the Bronze Monkey is exactly why I joined the Coast Guard. Uh, it was a fast pace, um, quick decision making uh, situation and we were able to successfully assist all 11 people on board. Uh, I've been in the Coast Guard for six years and I haven't had a case that was quite similar to that one. Uh, saving lives in this, like in this situation, uh, you know, it's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, I mean, it's one of the reasons, you know, why we come to work, you know, we come to work for the public uh, so that we can go out and assist everybody, you know, if that situation does ever present itself. Please welcome tonight's awardees from Station Chatham. BM1, Matthew Hussey. BM1, Josh Perkins. MK2, Jason Martin. And BM3, Sherman Baldwin.